right now. Peace, peace, my purpose people. What's going on with you? Y'all, glory be to God. <laughs> Today has been one of those days. Y'all remember yesterday <coughs> when we read about having peace through the storm? And in so many words, the spirit of God, the spirit of the living God, prepared us, yet a, prepared us yet again for the moment the enemy would come and try to steal our peace. Y'all, how many times can I count the ways that the enemy tried to come and steal my peace today? <laughs> Y'all, it was such a a bless a blessing. It was today was so peaceful and loving and kind and and merciful and graceful and yet and still in between every single moment and sometimes in the midst of the moment the enemy tried to find his way just tried to just stink up the place in some type of way y'all when i tell you that the holy spirit i'm so thankful for this 31 day series y'all listen i know i haven't even introduced myself correctly for those of you who are just tuning in y'all you got to go back if this is your first video this is your first time seeing my face y'all you have to i'm talking about you gotta go back because it is amazing the way that god has prepared us strapped us up gave us our tools that we need to go forth and go on in every single capacity concerning life okay our relationships our motherhood i'm talking about your husband your wife your partners your friends your your co-workers your neighbors your sons your daughters your your, the, your yourself you <laughs> y'all it was it was crazy it was crazy and but but glory be to god that i that i had that i was scrapped up suited and booty with the word right from yesterday glory be to god that i had the devotional on the forefront of my mind y'all glory be to god that i was able to be aware in the moment that these things were happening and still was able to see joy find joy identify where god was listen this is the type of mindset shift we have been working towards during this 31 day series of renewal and restoration during black august y'all listen i wish i could you can hear this hand clap that's coming from this interface y'all because i just do not have any more words no other nouns no other type of labels of characteristics other than amazing, miraculous, it's just, well, welcome to day 29 of this 31 day Black August Renewal and Restoration Series, y'all. God has been working, 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 and I pray that you have developed or realized the work that you have put in, things that are... Mm. I'm sorry. I'm so tired. If you're new here, I'm not going to erase that. I am so grateful for what we have, the, the place that we have made it to, okay? And so without further ado, let's get into this devotional because obviously your girl is tired. <laughs> obviously your girl is sleeping, child. It's been an eventful day, okay? So the title of today's devotional is We Are All in Ministry, okay? And it starts with the verse. Um, it is Ephesians chapter 4, verse 16, and it reads, Under his direction, the whole body is fitted together perfectly. And each part in its own special way helps the other parts so that the whole body is healthy and growing and full of love. Amen. The devotional reads, Friends, as we wrap up our days together, Let's tackle one final question. Why does finding rest matter? 
we have spent 60 days looking at crucial factors. Well, this this is a 60 plus couple, like 61, 62 day devotional, but we're on day 29. So I'm going to say we have spent 20. I'm so sorry. It is 1055. Grace and mercy, please. Let me get some. Okay. All right. So it says, we have spent 29 days looking at crucial factors that go into becoming women and men who are able to rest in God because God wants us to. But why? Remember how we are actually underground espionage agents for God's kingdom? We are called to find rest, not just for ourselves, but because it is necessary. it is a necessary foundation for the ministry calling God has for us. No matter who you are, where you live, whether you are a stay-at-home mom or dad, a clerk at the grocery store, a parent or at a sky, uh, a manager at a skyscraper downtown, you are in ministry. Whatever it is you do, whatever it is you do, however it is you help, whatever you show up at best, that is your ministry. That's a part of of your ministry here on earth okay you may not have gone to seminary you may not have a certificate of ordination on your wall but you are a minister you will come in contact with people your pastor will never meet Mm. that was powerful you will come in contact with people that your pastor would never meet you will have opportunities to serve and love neighbors colleagues and friends that your ministry at, at that your women's or men's ministry director will never will. Okay. Our lives feel stretched and disconnected when we run from task to task, role to role, trying to be a good mom or dad and an effective saleswoman or man, a good small group leader and an attentive wife and or husband. It is as if we take off one work uniform and put on the next and the next and the next. Y'all, that's exactly what I did today. (laughs) I am not lying, y'all. I am just getting... Child, child, stay focused, honey. Listen, I know this word is ministering to me, honey. I'm going to receive it. I want you, okay? That all changes when we realize I don't have four or five, ten roles. I have one. To be a minister of God's love and grace to everyone I meet. One of the special things about the Graduate Christian Fellowship Group at Harvard was the unique graduation related ceremony we had before the regular commencement. It was called the ordination to daily work. Just as pastors were ordained, we were ceremoniously sent out for ministry in daily work and life. It served as a powerful overt reminder that whether we're we were becoming an accountant a doctor or a wall street analyst we were entering the mission we were entering the mission field as i healed to work on wall street oh i'm sorry as i headed to work on wall street i was very aware that this wasn't my only or even my main job My real job was to be a reflection of God's love and light no matter where I was or what I was doing. Friends, ask the Lord to show you all of the ways you are in ministry. You won't be exhausted. You won't be as exhausted, frustrated, or stressed by your job when you see the opportunity to come alongside a colleague during a difficult time. You won't be as beaten down when you realize that you are... Okay that you are the one the boss can rely on to do your work with honesty and integrity. You won't be as irritated with your little one's constant demands when you see that this tiring season as a brief moment to invest powerfully in his or her whole life ahead. Not long ago on a Christian radio station, a host asked a, a, a caller, What's your occupation? The person responded, I am a disciple of Christ. But right now, 
he has me disguised as a press operator. <laughs> what a great response. This person knows that their primary role in life is that of a disciple living out her ministry, wherever they are called. Take the yoke of Jesus. See that it is light. Find peace and rest in doing things God's way. And you'll see God guiding you to minister that same peace to many who many others who deeply need it. Listen, that was a word upon a word, y'all, because let me just tell you this right here. Um out of all of the hats that I wore today, I knew that. I knew the moments, I can recall the moments where it hit me that I was doing this for a greater purpose. That on the way to on the way to work, sitting in the office at the university, having conversations, being at the hard hat um, grand tour that I took, speaking with the interns and college students about their elite team going to make sure that I went to um, file for the certification that I needed for um, my business, coming home, making dinner, then off to the first game of the season, football game of the season, where both of my children are in band and my bonus children from the community, one of them plays football, to home to winding on down and having conversations. Y'all listen, did I mention conversations with my husband and my grandmother and my, yeah, so listen, it was just, I can relate to going from place to place to situation to situation and just changing your shirt and your hat. Like not even literally, but figuratively. Having to uh, uh, quickly, without even thought, adjust to the next world and the next world and the next world without having rest and being able to identify in those moments that I may be tired or even I may not even want to be here. I would rather be doing something else, but it is because of what God has created me to do, created me to be. It is because not only of the things that I want to do, but the things that the people around me that are on my assignment need me to do in order for me to be my best version of myself for me and them. It is because of those things that I continue to keep going every day, right? Um, I push through the hard parts, or the, the the parts where I may need to take off my cape and my and my crown and just sit it over there. And even if I need to cry for a second, or even if I just need to be like, "Hey, I don't give me give give me a moment. I don't need nobody to need me right now." Do that make sense? Like even even in those moments, um, you know. I am grateful and I pray that you can find gratefulness in your everyday life and career as well. Um, God is good. God is awesome. God is amazing, y'all. And so I pray that this devotional to today um, has assisted in putting a cap um, on the ideals the mindset and everything else that you need to help you release the things that no longer serve you. The people, places, things, routines, everything above that no longer serve you. So you'll be able to make room for the things that do. So you can armor yourself accordingly so you can provide yourself with the tools you need, store the tools that you need for the moments that you need them, right? This is what this is for, okay? This Black August 31 day renewal and restoration process here on day 29 was to ultimately remind you of everything, of, of, of remind you of the reason why 
you have been obedient and dedicated to coming here, showing up here every day for 31 days or, you know, however you, if you were just viewing this video on day 29, whatever you have done or been doing to become your best, to become a better version of yourself, it is not in vain. Continue to do those things and... I'm telling you, if you stay, if you stay dedicated, if you are consistent, um, if you take one step, God will take two. Listen, okay, just beautiful. I'm gonna leave you with this uh, quote today, okay? There is always the danger that we may just do the work for the sake of the work. This is where the respect and the love and the devotion come in. That we do it to God, to Christ, and that's why we try to do it as beautifully as possible. Okay, listen, don't you let nobody tell you you can't when God has already told you that you can. Make sure that you strengthen your purpose and be about your passion so you can live life every single day doing what it is you love to do, but most importantly, what created to do. All right. And if you haven't already, hit that notification bell, please, and subscribe to this channel so you can help me help God help this channel grow. And I will see you in the next video, y'all. We have two more days. All right? Peace, family.